Hi, this is an update from the last video. I was supposed to put a bit on the end about how to get these Blu-rays that are not on the shelves in Poundland. Now, I forgot to add it on to the last video, so it's of a separate video. Hope you get to see it though. Now, I don't know if it's just me, if I'm allowed, allowed to do this, because I've been buying for my local Poundland for like over two, two and a half years now, Blu-rays. They've fully, they've got more Blu-rays now than they used to. They used to have like one box every month or two months, two years ago. So, and now they have a complete, they have a continuous supply. In my big Poundland in Hollyhead, that is a massive Poundland. It's got clothes, it's got everything. Now, I don't know if it's just me, they let me do it, or they let anyone do it. I don't know if you're tall. If you go to where the blue, my Blu-rays are on a corner segment by themselves, they've got Blu-rays, CDs there. Go around the corner and they've got all the Poundland second-hand DVDs and brand new DVDs there. And books here. Now, above the shelves, they've got leftover stock on top of the shelves. Now, between the DVDs and the Blu-ray end shelf, There'll be loads of boxes that look like this, that look like that. Nothing written on them. Now the DVDs and Blu-rays come in the same boxes. And sometimes, sometimes, the Halloween and the Christmas DVD sets, they have a special, they have a special display for Halloween and Christmas, which is the other side of the shop. Sometimes they have Blu-rays mixed in with the DVDs. They may have two or three Blu-rays mixed in with the DVDs. So that's why you have to check them all. What I do is, sneakily, I, because I'm quite tall, I can reach it free high. So they have them on the shelf, free high, all these boxes. So I pull them off. And the ones I can't reach, I sort of put my finger in and feel along the edge along that edge and if there's no gap if you can't get your finger in the edge here down there like that if you can't get your finger down that edge it's a dvd but if you can get your finger anywhere along there it's a blu-ray so if you can put your finger in and you think oh, even if they're dvds take it off the shelf you know carefully take it out of the shelf look at them like this and you might find a blu-ray that's not on the shelf or you might find a complete box of Blu-rays like this. A complete box of Blu-rays like this. This has got loads of minions, dynamos, internet, vampires. This is four boxes worth of Blu-rays, all sorted into piles. So I've got one box of minions, dynamo, international, interview of vampire, and... Fifty Shades of Grey. All the ones from the four boxes I've put into one box. Then another box will have another load of titles. Like another box. We'll have. Uh, let's have a look. Let's pull one out. Another box. We'll have 13 epic Chuck Norris and all the ones. That I've only got one copy of in each box. These ones here, I've only got one copy on each box. And some of them I've only got there's a couple here, like Zombie Beavers, Zulu, Life as we know it, Dolph Longgren, the Killing Machine, Record Genesis, Saw 2. There's only one in four boxes. So what you do is you see them all up there, and you get to know them, you get to know where they are, put your finger in, if you can feel your finger in the gap, you know the Blu-rays. So get them down, look at what you want, what I do, and they let, they let me do it, because I'm sort of doing their job for them really, I'll find a box like this, I'll go to where the Blu-rays are, and any ones I don't want out of the box, I'll put on the shelf. 
So I might have the, I might have half a box gone, quarter of the box gone, most of the box gone. I'll put them on the shelf. The next one, I'll take off the shelf and I'll pick all the ones I want. I'll put them in this box and I'll get them and put them on the shelf. Same again. So I'm ending up with four boxes of ones I want. And then you put all the crap that you don't want on the shelf. So you st restock the shelf for the crap. Now, I've told them I do this because it's easier for the checkout girl. If I tell them I've got 25 in each box, she can just count them quickly, 25 yet, pound each, that, and that's it, done. I'm not holding up the queue. Could you imagine if they had to take each one of these one by one to get out of the box, one by one, then I would have to put it in a plastic bag myself. It's going to take flipping half an hour. So what they do is they just take one off, scan it, times it by 25, and it's a whole lot done. And I've gone out of the shop in five minutes, and I haven't pissed the people behind me off for buying so many. And what I, what I do, sneakily, I've got a little tiny, tiny marker pen. I haven't got it with me now because it's in the car. But what I do is, to say this is the tiny little marker pen, what I do is, the ones I've seen up there, yeah, or the ones that are crap, just crappy, like, second-hand resealed DVDs from Museum Eye, what I do is, I just put a little dot, a little dot in the corner like that, quickly, yeah. So, when I go back again, three or four days later, I look on the shelf up there, and I see, oh yeah, oh, yeah, that one's got a Blu-ray. That's got the, that's got a little dot. I don't need to look at that. But if I find any of these, if I find any of, these, sorry, wrong way, I look on the top shelf and then I see a little blue dot there. I haven't got to look at them. But if I see any of these on the on the right on the top there, without the blue dot, I know it's new stock. So I get it down off the shelf. I have a look at it if it's DVDs again. Mark it off. Blue dot. I'm not sure if every shop will let you do this. But I go in there about six o'clock, so it's quiet. And like I say, I sort of I buy roughly about three. Sometimes they don't have any. This week has been a good week. This week. Friday, I bought a box full of new ones. Then this week, they've had a new box. They've just been like ready, getting ready for Christmas. They've got a new supply. They're all brand new sealed. Now, there's another way of finding out if they are second hand. Because sometimes they do put sneaky second hand ones in. And if you're an eBay seller, it's dodgy selling second hand as new. What you do is. The back of them, each Blu-ray will have a sticker on the over the barcode, which is a pound and Blu-ray sticker, which sells them for a pound. Now, if that sticker comes off like that, right, like that, it's brand new. Now, if that sticker is under that, that sticker, if you've tried to get it off and it won't come out, and then you find out it's under the seal, under the wrapper. Well, that Blu-ray has been unsealed and it's been stuck on first and then they resealed on top, which means it's second hand. It's been done by Music Magpie. They cleaned the disc or not even cleaned it. They just shoved the second hand, they've shoved the disc on it, they shoved the sticker over the barcode and they've resealed it. And that's second hand. Brand new, they just stick it on top like that so it's easy to take off. That's a tip of how to work out if a, if a Blu-ray is brand new or second hand from Poundland. Some are brand new, some are sealed. And if you're an eBay seller, selling second hand as new is like bad feedback. Because Poundland do sell second hand Blu-rays, second hand DVDs, but the sticker is always underneath the plastic, not on top. Anyway, that's just a quick update video of how to find Blu-rays that are not on your shelf. Hope you like this video.
Till next time, stay blue and stay safe.